welcome to my FTB Let's Play University 1.16 series, episode 110 or 11. I don't remember. I think it's 110. But so glad for you all to join us today. So, um, I f decided to actually make the solar panel, and I want to show you it. I upgraded it all the way up to uh, the platinum solar solar because it got real tedious and I just decided to stop for a while but I will show you what's going on it's this giant solar panel here and all it does is just collect uh, RF from the Sun and when it rains it still collects RF um, also the max output of the solar panel is 74,000 uh, RF which is crazy crazy awesome because I definitely need it for the upgraded uh, void miner I made. I actually had to turn it off because it was taking up too much power now. It's up to 147,000 RF per tick, but it's also getting a lot more ores too. So, I just wanted to show you that. And this over here, I finally decided to get more soul sand, and I noticed that you can actually separate the items through the ingredient porter, that way um, the QIO exporter over here can only deal with uh, wither skeleton skulls, and over here will be soul sand. That way it'll go inside, make that wither, and then make the nether stars that I need. So now I can get almost a even more so nether stars. And the reason being why I do that is because if it runs out of items, it just stops like spawning all the items. Um, I'm not a big fan of that, but, uh, so, in order to get, for me to get more soul sand, because my void miner does not take, uh, does not mine up soul sand, um, I decided to use the, uh, what is it called, um, the, uh, what is it called, it's this big, huge digital miner, that's what it's called, and decided to chunk load in the nether, and all it's doing right now is just collecting soul sand as we speak in the nether. Yep, I have about 10k soul sand now. Oh, did it stop? It sure did stop, so I'm going to have to take a look at that, definitely. But now I have over 10,000 soul sand. I shouldn't run out anytime soon. So, with that out of the way, we... I have some great news. I was able to find a Ender City. So we are going to go there, check out to see if there's any exotics there, and see if we can improve this bad boy, this Woot. So probably in the next episode, I will upgrade the solar panel even further because I wanted to get the next one, which actually required nether stars, just like, you know, how the Void Miner created, uh, needed nether stars. So... The next step for the Void Miner is, what, Tier 7? And it requires, you know, more Nether Stars, of course. But Tier 8 is what's going to take quite a bit. It's going to take over 200 Nether Stars. So it's going to require two Nether Stars to make the structure frame. Which, that is brutal, let me tell you. Brutal. So, um, the reason why I don't, I'm not taking uh, my teleporter slash port thing is because it doesn't work most of the time. For some odd reason, it disconnects itself. But it doesn't take me long to get to the end portal. So, we are here. Beautiful. And I also made a waypoint. And, oh, oh, so also, I had to put my Void Miner in here because it's the only way to get Nanorite Crystals. It's not turned on at the moment. But yeah, that's why it's there. So anyways, and about a bing, bada boom. Back here, there is... It is over there. Oh. I've got to fly the original way. i got to get up on one of these trees and make a run for it. Give me a second here. And let's go. fly over there. Maybe, if it loads up. <laughs> I'm going too fast for it to load up. Whoop. But as you can see, I found an end city. 
just right up there. So I don't know what's in here. We could find exotics, and if we don't, that's okay. At least we went to an end city. Uh, there's some things I will definitely get, like uh, these end rods here, because the city at the end of the game. Hey, would you look at that? I got an achievement. I know I definitely need end rods for some odd reason. Okay, so let's make an entrance for us. I've never been here, so... What are you? You are a mine cube? Mimicream, what is this? Hamiolymph Blaster, what? That's cool. It's like a gun. It's like a live gun. So let's go downstairs here. There's nothing there, so we're gonna go up. Maybe. Oh, I gotta... Oh, uh, you gotta do a whole bunch of, like, jumping and whatnot. Well, too bad we're gonna cheat that out right now. Okay. So, these are, like... They teleport? What? That's kind of neat. Oh, th I could definitely tell this could be hard if you did not have flight. Or what I have now. What is this? Skulker shells? Okay, I've seen those before. Kinda. I'm gonna get rid of all these. Okay. And what's this right here? More of these. I like how they teleport. That's pretty enough, Dave. And what do you do with these? You can make these uh, chests. Skulker upgrade. Oh, you can, from crate. Okay. You definitely need those to make a creative ability for Tinker's contract, so we'll definitely use those. Okay. Interesting so far. This place is relatively big. Okay. So we gotta find a chest, so we're gonna try to look around here. I haven't seen a single chest yet. It actually takes two minutes to kill sometimes. Hey, there's a chest. Oh, there's an ender chest here. And there's nothing there. And then quite a bit of unique loot I haven't seen. I haven't seen these discs. Fire and passing at stars. Efficiency mending. That's cool. I'll take this ender chest for sure. Alright, let's see what else is there. Before I break here. There's a bunch of other, like, chests up here, so it pretty much has the same design layout. Okay. Let me see here. Hmm. I think they have to keep, uh... Looking around here. Alright, nothing in there. I bet you this would be insanely hard if I didn't have the gear for it. There's another chest over here. Oh, we found our first exotic. Drops from in-city loot chest spawns ten mobs. What? Okay. And I got my first, uh, exotic. And Woot is now complete. We have completed Woot. That's really cool. Drops from End City loot chest. Spawns 10 mobs. I bet that's gonna drain a lot of fluid. I was hoping to find an exotic that would decrease the amount of, like, Conatus fluid that you need. That'd be really cool. Let's go in here. There's another chest in there, I can see it. Did they kill you? Yep, up oh, two of them. Oh, what's this? Crystal Heart increases the wearer's maximum health? Okay. I don't think I have anything for the belt. Oops. Or maybe I do. Uh, maybe 
maybe I do. That's chest. Okay, well, I'll figure that out later. Let's go check out this other chest here. And what are these? Slimy seeds. Okay, we'll take those. Um, wow. That's, uh, this is some incredible loot here. And a saddle. Cool. Now, is that the only thing? I'm glad I was able to find one. Let's, uh, go over here. See if there's any chests over here. Uh, there certainly is. Okay, not bad. Gold, iron sword. Oh, let's just put some of these items away here. Here we go. And then we'll definitely grab that. And what's in here? Oh, another crystal heart. Cool. Nothing good in that one. Okay. And there's another area down here. We'll go check this area here. This place is huge. I'm starting to understand the layout, so. Alright. I got those. And more seeds. And what's over here? What's this? Obtained by using Dispel and a Witch Well. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely take that because I have a feeling we're gonna need to use that in the future. Okay. I'm just kind of looking around. Uh, moving through there. Have I been up here? I don't think I have. Or maybe I have. My bad. Let me just mark it with me destroying a block. We go in through there, and oh, what's this over here? What are you? This is unique. Got monster spawners and everything. What is this place? And you're a monster spawner skeleton. You fire us another saddle. Huh. That is nifty. Oh, and there's more too. Well, I guess we found something else too. What are you? It's one or agitator. You know, I'll take that just in case. Okay. I'm trying to find more exotics before I head on out. Thought I was able to find one, but it's not the one I specifically want. I don't think I'm gonna find anything like that here. Oh, there's only one. Honestly, this place would be great if I didn't have Woot. Because then I could use a cardboard box and add more uh, mob spawners to the uh, spawn room. Okay. But anyways, this has gone far too long. It's over the past 10 minute mark, but I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Please like and subscribe. I uh, upload videos every Friday. I also live stream on Wednesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 9.30, 9-ish, 9.30-ish, depending on the situation. So I hope I'll see you there, and you all have a safe day.